Yo, what's going on, you guys? Rasa Thiyad here in Singapore and just finished my live class with Avina on Instagram. We talked about repression. Repression. What am I talking about? Repression of your emotions, of your thoughts, of your beliefs, and then the re repercussions of having, you know, kept all that inside. So I thought it was a really great session. I got a chance to actually interact with a couple of the audience members, and that was really nice. And um, outside of that, I felt like we were able to really get to the heart of some of those really big issues. On the flip side of that, though, I've been noticing a lot of anger on the internet. Obviously, the the whole young toddler caught in a drain pipe situation was very, very painful and very disturbing to a lot of um, adults out there. But I also know that they were highly upset with the government's lack of action um, and I'm not even sure if, if I understood the entire situation properly, but from where I'm sitting, right, with my limited understanding, what I saw was a lot of people who were very upset and protesting about the whole situation. Um, I can't really weigh in on one side or the other outside of the fact that instead of promoting an already difficult situation, I wish more people would actually offer solutions or get in there and get their hands dirty. That's all I got to say about that. But with that same vein, and I may actually change the title of this podcast episode, but originally I titled this as, Would You Shoot Santa in Front of a Kid? Because I know that there are a lot of different things that are upsetting people out there. I saw a post about um, uh, a restaurant in Sri Lanka that has an actual placard inside uh, the desk area of the restaurant itself that says, please refrain from speaking anything but Sinhalese and English in this restaurant. Now, obviously, a lot of Tamil people have gotten very, very upset. And yes, they could have handled it differently. Yes, they could have just said English only. That would have been a lot smarter. But obviously, they didn't. And um, all I saw after that was a lot of hate messages um, about how you know this is anti this is very representative of the sri lankan flag this is what the whole country stands for and that's not true at all the reason i'm saying that is because my family is still in sri lanka my family is still trying to build up um, various parts of sri lanka to bring tourism back to jaffna to make sure that we help out the schools that are really suffering and for us my specific family we don't really see um one way or another, we see Sri Lankans. We see a lot of very, very um, hard up families that are trying their best to make a living and trying to provide opportunities to their children. Now, whether they speak uh, Sinhalese or Tamil um, is not something that my family looks for specifically because, to be very clear, my family speaks both. I know from personal experience, not personal experience, but from stories that were handed down to me, my aunt, as in like one generation above, not even like three, four generations, one generation above, my aunt actually escaped the riots with the help of many Sinhalese friends and family members and workers who were able to hide her so that she was not harmed in any way because at the time she happened to be pregnant. So I am very grateful to the people, the humans out there that saw fit to actually take care of each other and to try and avoid more unnecessary harm um during that very difficult time right in the heart of the you know the the riots and everything so i'm very grateful because otherwise my aunt and my cousin would not be here today and honestly speaking i can't i can't see one language over another because my family speaks both but with that being said i do have a problem with people out there who have an influencer status who are so angry that they're perpetuating the cycle. Now, I'm not saying that what happened was right by any means. Genocide, whether it's Tamil genocide or genocide in general, Jewish genocide, I don't care. Killing off mass amounts of people because you're mad is not okay, ever. And that includes pharmaceutical companies who are happily vaccinating all willy-nilly because they feel like that's the best way to figure out if, you know, this works or not, okay? So, genocide in general, let me be very clear, killing off people en masse, targeting specific types of people en masse, is wrong, okay? Whether it's LGBTQ, whether it's um, the Jews during the World War, whether it's Tamil genocide, whether it's killing off a bunch of people because they would not uh, convert to Christianity. Yes, I'm talking about the Crusades. I'm talking about um, all of the, um, the political activism during Gandhi's time. Uh, where they were trying to force women to, to wear, you know, European clothing and there was like burning of clothing, like all, all of that, all of that wrong. 
okay? Just because I do not think the way you do does not make me wrong, does not make you wrong. Opinions are based on emotion and experience. They are not based in fact, so you are entitled to your opinion, but you are not allowed to convince me that I have to believe the same things you do. With that case in point, I have a problem with one aspect of this whole Sujit crisis. I know an influencer who spoke up about the fact that all these people are sending prayers, that they are praying to God, they're hoping that, you know, that something, some miracle will happen. He had a very big problem with that. Now, I don't know what his relationship with God is, and it doesn't matter. My problem is the fact that he was talking about how dare you pray to a God who allows such things to happen. For you to shoot down any religion, for you to tell people they are wrong for doing what they think is best for to tell them that the way they believe the way they live their lives a lot of people a lot of people cannot differentiate a life without religion a lot of people really feel strongly about the fact that you know if they do this this way this many times in this direction all of that right that life will end up well it is what gives them a sense of purpose in their days it's what gives them a sense of peace that they are not in charge of everything that they can give it to a higher power and eventually something good will come out of it all right so many people have lived this way for so long i have a problem when people out there are condemning others for believing what they think is right. It is very much akin to telling children that they should not believe in Santa Claus. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as the Easter Bunny when they have this hope that if they just behave, they might get presents at the end of the year. Or if they, you know, if they're good children and they and they get through their convocations or, you know, communion, baptism, well, I don't know what the whole, you know, the situation is, but with Easter and that Christ is risen that, you know, that they that they should believe in the fact that they can be redeemed even if they're, you know, un, uh, people are unjust to them that there is a way that they will still rise above all of that and be able to serve the way they were intended to serve out. All those things I think are beautiful ideas and if it makes you feel comfortable, if it gives you peace, by all means, believe what you need to believe. They're all coping mechanisms. If you believe that eating when you're upset makes you feel better, go do that. You know what I mean? Obviously, please take care of your health, but if that's something that makes you feel better, then do it. If you feel like, you know, bundling up and going to sleep to sleep through all of your troubles is the best way for you to cope, unfortunately, that's what you believe. I am in no position to tell you otherwise. If you believe that, you know, going to the temple and, you know, uh, or doing a Surya Namaskaram every morning or praying to the nine planets, you know, because Ola Vasani and all that stuff, if you believe all that stuff, by all means, do what makes you feel better. Because until you feel better, you are not going to be in the kind of space to be able to speak about any kind of solution anywhere else. So please, as as upset are you as you are about all of these things that are going on in the world, school shootings, um, you know, police brutality, um, men throwing acid in women's faces, uh, the 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 rights of LGBTQ the 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 community at large, any of those things. If you are upset about those things, please. Please, by all means, show your support. But while you show support, please do not condemn anyone because it doesn't make you any better than those condemning in the first place. For example, I know a lot of people are very upset about this whole, you know, restaurant sign thing, right? For you to be against Sinhalese is also a form of putting people down. There are plenty of Sinhalese people who have nothing to do with the war itself. They just happen to be, that just happens to be the language that they speak. And for a flag that happens to just be a symbol, y'all are real happy to get behind the U.S. flag, even though there's so much bloodshed behind that, but you're so upset about the Sri Lankan flag? It's just a bunch of colors and a bunch of figures, y'all. Come on. We gotta be better than this. If we can't preach inclusivity across the races, across the languages, across the religions, what is the point of standing up for some people? Shouldn't you be standing up for all people? Please, I know you all get very upset. I know you all get very, very threatened or, or feel put upon or insulted when any of those topics come up. But I wonder, if you were to stand at ground zero and yell in the middle of Colombo about those things, would you still yell? 
in the middle of Colombo about those things, or would you fear for your life? It's very easy to have an opinion on social media. It's very easy to like you know talk a good game and fight about everything, but are you willing to go spend a year in Jaffna and rebuild it? Are you willing to go live in Sri Lanka and try and make a living even though you know tourism is down again because of the riots that were just happened in April? Um, people are you know all back in arms again and upset with each other for the slightest things. Are you willing to go stand at ground zero and stand on your soapbox and yell about what you're upset about? Because if you're willing to do that, then okay, fine. But a lot of you are glad it's social media. A lot of you depend on the fact that this soapbox is behind a bunch of smoke screens and that no one can really get to you. So please, people will believe what they want to believe. If you can help them see another point of view, not necessarily convince them, Help them see another point of view so they can accept that there is another point of view. Great. But please do not condemn anyone. Please do not belittle anyone. Please do not tell people that they can't do what they've been doing for years because suddenly it's wrong because you have an opinion about it. Please don't do that. Spread love. Spread inclusivity. Let people do what they think is best in their own way. Maybe they they pray, but you know what? Prayer goes a long way as well. Good thoughts, good vibrations, they do travel far and wide. You never know. There are plenty of people out there that got a miracle that you might not deserve. You you might not think deserved a miracle, but they got it because people were praying for them. I'm a big believer in prayer and focused energy and and thinking good thoughts and sending good thoughts in in people's, people's directions. I know it helps. I know it works. So please, live and let live. Because that's actually what you're hoping people will do for you as well. Allow them to believe what they need to believe. They're coping the best way they know how. If you are in a position to help them open up, you know, their view a little bit, great. But I guarantee you you can't do that if you tell them they got to shut their eyes first. That what they've been doing is all wrong. The first thing that will happen is they will get offended and they will probably stonewall you or shut you down. And then you don't get anywhere. You want a more loving, accepting world? You can't condemn people to get there. You can't stone people to get there. You can't judge people to get there. You yourself have to have an open mind. So please, with that in mind, go on about your business. That is my two cents for the night. I love you.